Hi, my name is Nicholas Barone. I'm one of Daiquiri Solutions Architects. That means it's my job to deploy our technology. I'm going to show you real quick some of the basic functionality of the helmet, starting with our menu and going into thermal mode. So if you look on the screen, you'll be able to see what I see. All of the, the black is what's transparent on the screen. So we're going to get out of that quick because it's not too exciting for you. And turn on the thermal camera so you can see what I see in thermal mode. Now we're going to go back. We're going to go into the Autodesk demo, which is one of the things we're here to show you. Now again, we're going to start, and you're going to see, oh good, it's starting with video mode on. So again, you can see what I see, except normally we leave this video background off, but in order for you to see what it looks like through my eyes, we have to show you what the camera is seeing on the helmet. So now we're going to show you the augmented reality. So the, um, the crosshairs in the middle of the screen functions like the mouse, and every button is clicked using a hover action. So that's what you see and perhaps hear, although maybe only I can hear it, uh, when I go and click a button. So what we've done is we've pulled information from BIM360 and Revit through the Glue APIs and um, thrown it up onto the helmet. And the idea is that we're delivering the information to the user that they need to figure out if there's any problems with the plans due to a flash from as found and as designed. This lets me better see which system I'm talking about with each of these things. Alright, I can move around it. And in the original version of this demo, we actually had some physical props so that you could see where the 3D model intersected with things that were already built. And so as part of that, we're going to create an issue for a plan clash and send it up to the servers to denote a new task. So that's it.